Let's cross now to Felix Light in Moscow. Uh, Felix, the two ministers have been talking to reporters. What have they been saying? Certainly, I think today what we've seen is a little bit of a discordant uh, display. On the one hand, Annalena Baerbock, throughout her visit to Moscow, her first as foreign minister of Germany, has been keen to sort of stress the, the underlying reality, if you like, of sort of Russian-German friendship. She attended an exhibition and it was really a very, you know, textbook diplomatic meeting. Uh, but, of course, there is this sort of angle that she's very keen to communicate to uh, the Russian side that there will be these consequences if, if uh, some kind of military offence in Russia in Ukraine is undertaken by Russia. And this is, of course, important. You know, Baerbock has certainly seen her Green Party is seen much more hawkish on Russia. The outgoing uh, or the, the previous, I should say, German government of, uh, of Angela Merkel. And even if this is not true, it is very well, it is very much perceived as such in Moscow. So certainly, I think today's display is very interesting because Russia, Russia is an enormously important partner for Germany. And Germany, in many ways, is a mediator for Russia, a representative of its views sort of in Europe as a whole. And so we will be watching this very closely. Now, of course, this is happening against that backdrop of increasing Russian troops' presence along the Ukrainian border. So from where you are in Moscow, what is the feeling? Are people sensing that an evasion is likely to occur in the weeks ahead? I think in many ways uh, the sort of the atmosphere here is very much bifurcated, very much sort of in two parts. On the one hand, you know, we have this ready sort of this steady drumbeat of news that sort of uh, Russian troops are deploying to the Ukrainian border. Now, of course, we see they're moving to Belarus for uh, exercises. And these are significant numbers. They might not be the kind of numbers Russia would need to sort of attack uh, all, all out sort of right on Ukraine. But I think it is sort of they are clearly sort of substantial numbers. Of we're talking about. On the other hand, it's hard to sort of look at Russian state media and see a sort of a population being primed for war. I think the pu public polling reveals that too, and the atmosphere on the street is not one where people sort of are craving geopolitical glory, as it were. The, uh, the, the issues of the day in Russia are very much bread and butter ones, and I don't see right now the Kremlin really selling a military operation in Ukraine to the Russian people, as we saw before. Felix Light reporting there from Moscow. Thank you.